Hello, we're back and excited to continue with Data Engineer Spotlight with a question and answer session. My name is Grace Young, an Associate Product Marketing Manager here at Google Cloud, and I'm joined by the amazing Priyanka Vergadia, Staff Developer Advocate here at Google Cloud for this Q&A. Hey everyone, it is great to be back and we're really excited to answer questions from you, the data engineer community. So to start off, let me ask you a couple questions, Grace. This first question is from Mia saying, what are the best ways to get started with data engineering on Google Cloud? It's a great question, Mia. Firstly, check out the Data Engineer Learning Path on cloud.google.com. You may also want to check out Coursera courses, such as Preparing for Google Cloud Certification, Cloud Data Engineer Professional Certificate. Along your learning journey, you can ask questions and get support from your peers and Google experts in the Google Cloud Data Analytics Community Forum. The links for all these resources will be listed in the chat box below. This one is from Aparna. Um, how could I start to learn using BigQuery? That's a great question as well, Aparna. Check out the BigQuery free trial on cloud.google.com slash free and take some of our hands-on labs at cloudskillsboost.google. So now the next question to you, Priyanka, um, is from Jeff. How is Google Cloud Data Engineering done differently from other providers? Thank you, Jeff. Now, that is an amazing question. Google Cloud offers a different approach that embraces full data lifecycle, and it connects the two acts of like building your data infrastructure and then deriving insights from data to happen concurrently without friction and from the same place. All is happening in the same spot. It's built on both open source and cloud native technologies where Many are used to power Google's own billion user scale businesses. And we empower those data engineers with the right products and tools to connect, design, build, and then transform that data easily and reliably. Thank you, Priyanka. So our next question is from Xing Yi. With data catalog embedded as a part of Dataplex, how should users think of the two products and when to use what? Great, um, thanks for that question. With the unification of Data Catalog, and which is now being part of Dataplex um, experience together, now users no longer need to go to different interfaces to understand, govern, and then monitor their data. Um, they can now just use just the Dataplex to search and discover their data with relevant business insights and business context, and then consistently govern this data with unified policy management and centralized monitoring, and leverage those built-in data intelligence tools to make the trusted data available for both analytics and the downstream data analytics systems. That makes total sense. Thank you for your explanation. Our next question is from Javon. Where can I learn more and how can I get started with Dataform? Great, so Dataform is currently in private preview and if you're interested, we have, we have a trial that you can sign up for by filling the form. Um, next to the session resources. Um, so give it a try and I think there'd be opportunities to also provide us feedback because it's in preview, so take advantage of that. Definitely. Our next question is from June. Can you provide some insight into what tools are used for the ingestion layer in Google Cloud Analytics Platform? Great, yeah, ingestion is like that first step, right? So a very important step of in any data science project, cloud native unified batch and streaming ingestion platform, uh, for example, PubSub is great for streaming large amount of data into the platform and Dataflow then helps you uh, sort of take that data and apply um, you know, cleaning and processing on top of that data. And then in a no-code fashion, uh, you can batch ingest from about 150 plus sources within BigQuery data transfer service. Now the other sources for ingestion are also um, Google Cloud Storage, where um, you could just ingest batch data 
in through Google Cloud Storage and then apply that data into BigQuery or any of these other sources that I was talking about earlier. Hopefully that answers it. What amazing capabilities we have. All right, so the next question is from Nicholas. What is the difference of use cases between data flow and data fusion? Ah, good one, Nicholas. So data fusion is literally the no-code, low-code option for data integration platform for the UI-driven ETL, ELT type pipeline development and management. When it comes to data flow, data flow is more cloud native. It's fully managed and unified data processing and then integration of a platform that supports the multiple languages and processing engines. So it kind of depends on what your use case is and I would use data fusion for bringing in or combining multiple, use, multiple data sources together, do some governance on them. Um, and using them, and then data flow more for processing. Mm, thank you so much for your clear response there. Our next question is from Zishan. What can data engineers do with Spark on Google Cloud? Thank you, Zishan. So uh, Google Cloud's managed Spark service offers the industry is really the first auto-scaling serverless Spark, which empowers users to move away from infrastructure management and then solely focus on just their code and integrated with the best of uh, cloud native and open source tools such as BigQuery and Vertex AI and Dataplex. Um, with these integrations, um, users who are using Spark, uh, managed Spark can seamlessly use Spark from their interface of choice to develop and run Spark where, where you need it across all the use cases, including the ETL, the data science, just the exploration of data, or uh, without having to really just create clusters in advance, which is very powerful. That is certainly very powerful. Thank you for tuning in to our Q&A session, and thank you for all those questions. Now, if you registered for the hands-on, interactive, Cloud Hero BigQuery skills game, take a short break and join us at 11 a.m. Pacific time via the Google Meet link in the follow-up email from our team about the Cloud Hero game. Be sure to join on time as there is a capacity limit for the game. That's all, Google Cloud Data Engineer community. Thank you for tuning in to the Data Engineer Spotlight.